In the darkness above our heads, a silent transformation is taking place. While the world focuses on headlines and rivalries, a quiet revolution is unfolding beyond the clouds. A nation once absent from the stars now stands poised to reshape our place in the cosmos. This is the untold story of China's great leap into space, a journey of resilience, ambition, and a future that's being written among the stars. In 1970, a red satellite sang a patriotic melody as it orbited the Earth. Dongfang Hong Anoi, the East is Red. It marked China's entry into space, a symbolic gesture more than a scientific milestone. But beneath the symbolism was a message. We too will rise. Yet the path to orbit was forged in hardship. The great leap forward had devastated the country. The cultural revolution had silenced its scholars. Rocket science requires peace, stability, and imagination. China had none, but the will endured. With Soviet support dwindling and global suspicion mounting, China was forced to build alone. From the ashes of internal turmoil rose a quiet determination. Their journey would be longer, harder, but it would be theirs. By 2022, China had realized what once seemed unreachable, a permanently crewed space station. Tiangong, the heavenly palace, now orbits above us. Smaller than the International Space Station, Tiangong is still a marvel of modern engineering. Its modules are sleek, compact, and efficient. It can host three astronauts for extended missions, acting as a laboratory, a home, and a symbol. It is also a statement. China no longer needs an invitation to space. It has built its own table. In ancient myth, Chang'e drank the elixir of immortality and flew to the moon. In modern reality, China gave her spacecraft her name and sent them after her. The Chang'e program has pushed boundaries that once defined the possible. A soft landing on the near side in 2013. A bolder step, Chang'e 4, to the moon's hidden face in 2019. A place where no human machine had ever touched down. It succeeded. Then came samples. In 2020, Chang'e 5 returned with pieces of lunar soil, an achievement only two other nations had claimed. China became the third. But in Chinese strategy, success is never a final destination. It's a stepping stone. As Earthwatch Perseverance make headlines, another machine touched down quietly on the other side of the planet. In 2021, Tianwen-1, Heavenly Questions, delivered Zhurong to Mars. China became the second nation to land and operate a rover on the Red Planet. Zhurong's mission was science, but also signal. It carried ground-penetrating radar. It analyzed soil chemistry. It sent home panoramas of alien landscapes, and it said this, China is not following footsteps. It is carving its own path. Why test growing seeds on the moon? Why build landers that can return samples? Why map the terrain so meticulously? Because China's vision goes beyond flags and footprints. The International Lunar Research Station, a partnership initiative led by China and Russia, is planned to rise from lunar regolith by the mid-2030s. No longer just visits, permanent habitation. Science, yes, but also strategy, resources, prestige, and perhaps in time, a new blueprint for civilization beyond Earth. In 
2030, Tianwen-4 will slip past Earth's gravity, bound for Jupiter and beyond. It's a mission of questions about gas giants, magnetic fields, the outer limits of our reach. But Tianwen-4 is also a rehearsal. For China's long-term planners, the solar system is not a dream. It's a roadmap, resource harvesting from asteroids, fuel depots in orbit, a relay network that connects outposts across the void. The timeline? The end of the century. The ambition? Celestial logistics. Space is not neutral ground. Since 2011, U.S. law has forbidden NASA from directly collaborating with Chinese space agencies. Security concerns loom large, but scientists on both sides lament the missed opportunities. In response, China is crafting its own alliances, welcoming nations into its lunar project, offering access to Tiangong, sharing lunar samples. Is this a rivalry or a parallel race? Or can the stars teach us that destiny need not be zero sum? As we look up, we see more than stars. We see ambition, a dream long dismissed now taking flight. China's journey to the cosmos is not just national pride. It's a chapter in humanity's unfolding story among the stars. The sky is no longer the limit. It is only the beginning.